Hey, a quick review of this small handheld sandblasting or bead blasting gun from Harbor Freight. Welcome to Urban Monk TV. So I originally bought this gun for a small job on my motorcycle frame. I had some areas that had a little bit of rust and I thought, you know, just I don't need to buy a whole blast cabinet. Even if I did have a blast cabinet, I wouldn't have been able to fit a motorcycle frame into it. I just wanted something that I could take out in the backyard, not worried about capturing the blast media, have a little bit of capacity and take the rust off. I'll have to say this worked very well for that and uh, here's a little bit of footage of me taking the rust off. Um, a little bit cumbersome to work this big gun into uh, nooks and crannies but I got the job done and now so the question may be for some of you who have a bigger job is this gonna work? Um, I haven't had the opportunity up until recently to have a bigger job, but I just decided to drain my pool and... So the job I'm doing with this gun right here is uh, to remove the scale at the water line on the blue tile of uh, my pool. I'm draining my pool and doing a whole bunch of maintenance here. I think I'll actually paint it. But uh, in the process, I want to get rid of this scale that builds up from the hard mineralized water over well, years. And uh, it's working pretty good for this. Here I am using this gun on this uh, pool tile to remove the uh, scale that builds up after years of having uh, pretty hard water in the pool. And um, it worked very well. It does, given the media that I'm using, I'm using an 80 grit glass bead that's also available at Harbor Freight. And uh, you know, it works so well that it does actually dull the finish on that porcelain glazed, essentially, tile. Um, I don't care, at the water line, you're not gonna see that anyways. It, and it'll look better than having all of that calcified uh, scale on the tile. Um, there are walnut media, which is a little bit gentler, available. I didn't try that, um, partly because of the size of my job and the size of this gun. This is not a large gun, but it does take a fair amount of air to work. So. This gun needs 7 cubic feet a minute at 90 PSI to operate effectively. My air compressor is a smaller 13 gallon that barely and technically doesn't meet that spec. It uh, delivers like 6.9 cubic feet a minute at a lower pressure. And so on paper, my air compressor is not up to the job of using this but clearly as you can see in the video it does work I just have to take breaks what I'm using for a compressor is this 13 gallon uh, oil list and uh, you know this thing is rated very nearly what is required to do this job with that gun but uh, I have to admit I am taking a lot of breaks uh, to not overheat this thing. Um, because this has a small hopper, I have to take a break to fill it every once in a while anyway. So for me, I have this tool in my toolbox already, so I used it for this bigger job. For you, if you're looking at this gun and you have a similar big job to do, you may want to first take a look at your air compressor. If your air compressor is bigger than mine, that'll be a good thing but then you will be filling this hopper just as often as I have to. Uh, perhaps you want to go for one of the other options at Harbor Freight or, or maybe some other 
blast gun uh, from another seller. Um, but it does work. It does get the job done. And it doesn't take up a lot of room in my toolbox. Uh, what can I say? It'll hold 20 ounces of blast media. And um, I have read online that some guys will drill out the gravity feed kind of right above the venturi where the air meets the, the media and kind of draws it through. I have not found that necessary. I've left it just as it is off the shelf and it's worked for both uh, my motorcycle, my small motorcycle job and uh, for my large job on the pool. Uh, I also want to say that if you were having to remove say paint or something on brick that doesn't have such a glossy finish, well, here's a little shot of me taking some of the mineral scale off of my brick and it leaves a very nice finish. I have no doubt that this gun would work fantastic on removing paint from concrete or from brick, um, but it is going to leave you know, a cleaner looking area afterward. Uh, so, you know, whatever the graffiti was, if you just blast that, you're still going to see the outline of the graffiti unless you clean the whole area and, you know, remove everything around there. So, hope that makes sense, but um, I'll give it a thumbs up for small jobs and if you want to have the patience I have to not burn up my air compressor but give it breaks to cool off and fill the hopper, uh, then it can do a larger job. It's, it's capable of it. Um, I hope you found this information useful and if you like what I'm doing, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to become an urban monk. Thanks for watching.